Hello everybody, my name is Alex and I build hot rods and this is the ultimate hot rod. Uh, it's actually a, a, a very, well if you don't recognize this you're a fucking idiot because this is uh, the ultimate in uh, innovation right here. And uh, the reason is, and you've seen this on the website. If you haven't seen it on the website, I don't know where you've been. You should be watching my website. It's uh, the first bass on a guitar scale, which actually fucking works. Understand? Understand? That's the big deal here. That's the big deal. I wouldn't be uh, screaming at the top of my lungs if there wasn't something substantial here and something really really uh, groundbreaking here okay and um a bass player but I can be and I will be for the first time because uh, you know traditional basses they're long and uh, the design of the bass dictates what the whole meaning of bass playing is it dictates the technique of bass playing and if you invent a new instrument like this one and because of the scale, it is, you know, in all the essential elements, it is a brand new instrument. And therefore, everything in terms of bass technique changes. Not everything, but the fundamental limitations are thrown out the window. You no longer have limitations. So, if you are a guitar player and you've always... Uh, felt limited on a bass. You could do all these things on the guitar, right? I don't have to name them for you. But uh, uh, you could play chords, which is the main thing. You go, you, go, you go to the bass and you say, well, what the hell can I do here? And I know there's great bass players, but they're playing within that limitation. Now those limitations are gone. And... Uh, it's scary to even imagine what a virtuoso bass player will be able to do on this instrument. Yes, it's a Telecaster. That's what's cool about it. And yes, if you know anything about guitars, you have noticed that it has a vintage element. Everything is vintage about this. It has the 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 uh elements of of of, uh, of 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 vintage characteristics here um, where it has the very first bass pickup obviously a reproduction of the very first pickup the the uh, you know fender's own telecaster uh slash precision bass from 1951 it has the same pickup it has a very similar bridge okay um, it's based on a thin line style body and it's based on a 26 inch scale which is a long guitar scale but nonetheless it is a guitar scale so you can do anything on this instrument that you would do <laughs> do on a guitar now this happens to be a four string so you're limited that way but even with this with this scale uh, you can you can play all kinds of chords 
and you can do all kinds of tricks you can bend the strings you can do anything you can can do on a guitar so if you're a guitar player and you don't have one of these I don't know man there's no hope for you because a whole world will be opened up for you okay now you're saying well he put a guitar he put a bass string on a guitar big fucking deal dude well no no you're an idiot again okay because a bass string does not work across such a short scale it literally it's gross it you you get a you get a you get an open note sort of an open note it's it's it may be uh acceptable um but as you're going up you lose your fundamental and you get a very gross and and you can't really tell what this gross sound is that you're getting out of the string um you're not sure if the intonation it's not really the intonation the intonation physically is dead on it's just that the string is unable to handle such a short scale and no matter how much tension you put on it or whatever it just physically does not fucking work even the uh my own uh innovative world changing life changing zog zachary optimum gauges bass strings do not work on this scale so what i had to do is i had to design specific strings very innovative strings uh constructed in a whole different way all right in order for them to function under such a short scale and that's what makes this instrument um a marvel of engineering all right and literally think about it I mean I mean just just forget about what I say just you you think about it yourself will this not change everything will this not change everything uh, it changes everything you no longer have these monster long instruments and and uh, you know if people don't use Zachary Optimum gauges on them then then they're basically non-functional especially these five strings and six string basses oh man it's so fucking gross and the idiots up there are playing it and I'm going you got no fucking sound coming out of that fifth string you know that the low string or or and all the all the other strings are off balance in terms of tension your top strings are over tensioned and your and your and your lower strings are under tensioned and then in the you know and, and the thing it's it's completely the opposite of proper string set design so uh you know regular basses just because leo fender uh, uh figured that that's the way it should be done it doesn't mean that that's the way it should be done so what have you been doing so far what have people been doing so far they've been playing these instruments that maybe they shouldn't even be playing they, it was just given it given to them and 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 pushed down their throats and they they never questioned it just like they never questioned unbalanced tension strings they never questioned it until i came along and they say oh wow this guy's making some sense uh, i guess but if the large corporations are not uh, offering it, then uh, it may not be right. Forget corporations. I know you love corporations. I know you do. Just the way people love communism. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a human condition. It's a, it's a human pathology. All right? But forget that. Think about design and think about physics and think about what works and then you will laugh at anything that is pre poorly designed it's an embarrassment and you're using it and using and using it you have no idea fucking why because you've never had the brains to even question it so here it is <laughs> just with just like a guitar or you can play with your fingers like a bass and you see listen listen to this 
24 frat right up here. You try that. You try that. Can't even do it on a regular bass, can you? Use your regular strings. You can do it with with Zoc strings, Zachary Optimum gauges, Zachary Optimum gauges. But you can't do this on anything that is short scale, let alone a bass on a guitar scale. Fuck me dead. <laughs> So, um, you're a guitar player. It's already your instrument. Already your fucking instrument. So, get with the program. Get a brain. And open up a whole new fucking world. A whole new fucking world of ecstasy. Technique. Now, if you're a guitar player, you must have one. It's called a extra short scale Zachary bass and it's going to be built on virtually any of my body styles I, I love this uh, this this vintage uh, what is it ocean mist or, or no it's not ocean mist it's some kind of a it's 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 a vintage fender color that I used and uh, I just I just love it I just love this instrument look at it only had it for a few months and it's already used up and the paint's already off. Oh, I played it so much. Look at it. Look at it. It's all, it's all fucking worn. And, oh, it feels so good. And, and the action is so low. It plays better than any bass that you've ever played. It plays like a guitar, but it's a bass, man. You can play bass in any band. You've already got it figured out. And it can be made according to the new Z5 body, which is, I think, is what I'm going to do next. And, uh, so anyway, give me a call. I need your support, all right? I need your support. I know there's very few guitar players and bass players left. I understand that the smartphone has destroyed and killed the guitar. The guitar is dead. But I know there's a few of you out there, some old geezers, that still remember the virtuosity of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and you guys are still loving it. You're still loving the guitar, and uh, all you 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 hot bass players, you you fucking virtuoso bass players, you 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 nasty, uh, fire breathing bass players. Get one of these and see what you can really do with it. Oh my God, it's scary to even think about it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope I didn't offend you. I, 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 I don't want to offend anybody, nobody. I, I, it kills me. It kills me to know that I'm offending anybody. You know that. But I can't help it. I'm just so enthusiastic. So, thank you for watching and Give me a call. Let me build one of these for you. Oh man, you're going to love it. Take a look at this on the website. For about 100, 100 pics, 100 pictures you can look at.